I like to create worlds in my novels that are slightly off kilter from the real one that, you know, the everyday world that we all live in. And I find one of the best ways of doing this subtly, uh, so it's not, it's not like, you know, really, really weird, is it's by controlling the level of surprise that um, characters in my fictional world have to what might be what you and I might think of as pretty odd events. And, I, and, and you can very precisely tune um, a fictional world in terms of reality by doing that. So, you know, ju just to take an example, I mean, if, if, if some behavior, somebody's behavior is very, very eccentric, but the people around that person don't actually respond as if it's that eccentric. They're perhaps mildly surprised, and so they're slightly distracted by it, but they carry on. That, 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 that's a very subtle way of just kind of tilting the reality of the world just, just a little bit. Um, and, and that's what I like to do, you know, rather than have something that's kind of out and out really strange. You know. I have a lot of arguments with my wife about this, but I, I think there, there are these very interesting things that you could use in fiction, and that are used in fiction. I, I call them double-cross metaphors. Um, it's just a term that I've invented. There's probably a proper official fancy name for, for this. Uh, let me take an example. Um, in the 1970s, there was a movie called Soldier Blue. It was a Western, and it was about the uh, reprisals after the Battle of Little Bighorn. It's about the U.S. Cavalry massacring uh, a Native American village. Um, and at the time, because, it, because of when it was released, most people took it as a, as a thinly disguised uh, allegory about the My Lai massacres in Vietnam, which uh, some, some renegade American soldiers had massacred uh, civilians in, in a North Vietnamese village at the time. Um, and so the, the film was received very much as a kind of a, a, a metaphor about this, this episode in Vietnam and the Americans in Vietnam. But looking back now, I would say that actually it, it, was, it was, although it's pretending to be a metaphor about Vietnam, it was really about an even more uncomfortable thing, which is about the genocide of the Native Americans, uh, which laid the foundation to to you know the, the, the frontier moving west in America. It was a way of confronting a very, very difficult subject. Um, and, and it was done via, it's this rather clever thing of pretending it was a metaphor for something else when it was actually the thing it actually was. You know, that's what I call a double cross metaphor. And I, and I think this, I find this fascinating. I think this is, this is something that can be used in fiction. I think this is something we do in real life all the time. You know, slightly more light-heartedly, I'd say, you know, something like Haruki Murakami's uh, book, uh, what we talk about when we talk about running. You know, I think a lot of people think it's a, it's a meditation on life or something. Uh, um, I, I suspect it's about running. And I, I think, I, and actually, I recently reread Moby Dick, and I realised Moby Dick is not about America or about life or the world or the universe. It, it's actually about whaling. It's about it's about catching whales.